before held a competition, it was about mm. uh, exposing some of your talents. Okay. And this guy came up and did something very interesting. The exhibition. In 2004. In 2004. Mm. It was about creativity. Okay. And the creativity. grand prize. The grand prize, if I remember, was it 1M? Yeah, it was close to that. And, close uh, to 1M. He did a very wonderful painting. It was just brought over here, and I have it right with me. If you could just turn it on the other way around. Well, this is prime time at the pool in 2004. Wow. Uh, oh, I see the VIPs. The VIPs and I one. I see the... People, uh, do you see the painting? Now, this is... please bore respects if you have a neighbor with one. <laughs> now, seriously... Bore respects and look at this painting. The this guy who did that painting, painting, he won himself that grand prize, but he did not stop there. He realized that he has more than that. Mm. He's the initiator or founder of what we call souvenir painting. Souvenir. Souvenir painting. Souvenir painting. Yeah, people who mm. paint... Uh, life so paintings. Life painting. On top of that is the mm. current award winner of the Young mm. Youth Achievers. Mm. Uh, he holds that title. Young has, Youth Achievers. Mm. Wow, he's the current holder of the... The title. Wow. Uh, wow. He's the proprietor of Ama Arts. Mm. He has done several events where he has painted souvenir pieces. Mm. And a like, total, like this one, for instance. Yeah, like this one. That's a souvenir piece. Okay. And in a total, he has so far raised close to 85 million shillings. Ugandan wow. shillings, wow. and it all goes back for charity. Wow. He's a young guy wow. who was a student at Macri University, uh -huh. and he's a true prime timer. Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, mm. put your hands together for Roland Kamarusha as he joins us on stage. Woo! Hey! Z -Z. Now, in less than three words, uh, Roland, could you describe who you are? Okay, um, I'm Roland Stibirusia, uh, Roland. Uh -huh. I'm, uh, uh, I'm a souvenir live painter. So, I mean, those are a few words. Yeah. Okay, um, you stand and represent Ama Arts. Could you briefly tell us what Ama Arts is about? Ama Arts is a group of professional artists who paint, uh, who do sculpt, who do graphic design. So we usually gather, we have our studio at, at Mitchell. So we identify with Mitchell Hall. A oh yeah. Um, Mr. Roland. Yes. It's been now. You joined campus in 2004. Yes. 2004. Which course did you do at campus? I did Bifa. Bifa. That is. Bachelor of Industrial Fine Arts. A Bifa. Oh yeah. In your simple words. Yes. When did this whole thing start? Just take us back six years. I think uh, with this passion to you know, share it now. Uh, I used to pass by prime time. And that was my corner. The VIPs. The yes. VIP, oh yeah. Wow. So uh, I think after a catch in one day, yeah, we came and passed by and I saw people were just really having some good time. What do you mean with the catch? We were happening. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I stood there and I saw people were just happy and dancing and I was like, what's going on here? There and that's the time they advertise. They say, "You people, you're calling whoever has a, a creative way can express himself is welcome." And it's, it's a gentleman called SP who invited us. So as I was that very night, I went home and got this count, this board. Actually, it was my drawing board, which I used at a school of art. I got it and painted what I saw here immediately. And the next week. I presented it, which I won an hour. The title of the piece was Just Wait, so which was uh, a description of the event of that very day. So that's where the story began. Then from there, I met people who really blessed me. Mm. They talked to me, and we, I mean, there was this message of transformation, which I had not heard before from this prime time. So it went on, and I kept on doing what I was supposed to do, because I got someone who, who shared with me award and affirm that I can do better with this creative artistry. Uh, it was Pastor Simpa who shared with me, he said, you, know, you man, you can do better. And uh, I mean, I didn't have what to say, but I said I really desire to do it for God. And now, sometimes, uh, a few years have passed and you've done several things. Yeah. Uh, could you tell us some of the things that you've done see, ever since you started doing the souvenir painting? Actually, uh, you talked of 85 million. Mm. Uh, I've raised in excess of 250 million. 250 Uganda shillings? Yes. Wow. Let's get up for that. But you don't look like okay. me. It's okay, it's okay. okay. Through, through the sale of such kind of works. Where does that money go? 
I usually do it uh, for charity. So you mean you have been, uh, you have in your position, you have earned close to 250 million that goes to charity. Actually, what has been happening is I go on those festivals or events where I've been raising money for causes. I paint, then sell the work. Then when I sell, I get a commission, either it's one percent or I get 10 percent of the sales. That's how I benefit that. So that's how I've been benefits that part of a charity bit. And what makes you do this? Uh, one is uh, the, the passion I have for God and uh, how my life has been transformed. Uh -huh. And this is how we well, would want to always share it with prime timers. Yeah. And what really even motivates me now, your invitation really was, was humbling because I, I said, ah, I mean, today I'm at prime time and then this I'd, I'd taken some time looking at this painting. So I'm just humble to see this work since 2004, that's how many years now? Six years. Yes, I'm just blessed to be here and then sharing with the prime timers. Please give that for Roland. Now, in your position as a leader, yes. Have you reached out to the community besides uh, these other things of you doing paintings at functions? Do you have anything that you're doing on a local ground? Okay, uh, maybe currently I'm uh, volunteering three hours every week. Of your three hours every yes, week? Yes, yes, Okay. I'm volunteering to a school, uh, it's the Kampara uh, Physical Handicapped. Mm. So I train these kids, these disabled kids, how to paint and come up with these creations, especially the painting bit of it. Then we have a project running where we're trying to habitate in Boise. We have a group of uh, professionals who have come together. We say we give our time, mm. our money, and even our prayer to such people. And then we, we share this conviction. And each, each week, every Saturday, we move up to there and share with these people. And I mean, it has been an ongoing project for some time. Okay. Uh, I mean, then a bit of it is we had a project initiated at National Theatre, the Bonfire Paint Night. Mm -hmm. So people would come at the theatre, we paint with them, and then they share, uh, I mean, this love of Christ through, I mean, through sharing, I mean, one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. then telling them that, you know what, I mean, whatever you do, you do it because, you, I mean, there is, there is someone who sees that that you do. So you can be, you know, you can be blessed, then you can share that talent. Then people who would be around me would yes. get an opportunity to, to reach out to people mm. through a paint brush. Okay, so, now Roland, yes. you seem to be a guy who is exposed. You've been on media, you've uh, uh, interacted with the president, different delegates. Yes. <laughs> you have an avenue of, let me say, fornicating. How do you handle that? I know, uh, I think it all comes back to the, who I am mm. and the values I'm attached to. So what are some of your value systems you'd like no, to share I, with us? I champion abstinence, mm. and uh, I really, re I mean, I take it so serious that uh, okay. when you, I abstain, mm. it's an act of worship, really. I mean, abstinence, so you! Now, Roland, just to uh, look at this. Uh, this, is, uh, this is your logo, this is your image. What is this about? This is my signature. Mm. Actually, at prime time, I changed my name. Mm. Initially, it didn't have a T-I. What was your name? name. My name is was Birusia and I had to change it to Tibirusia with a conviction of being different. What does Birusia mean? Uh, Birusia is, it means like tiring because I questioned once when I went back and asked my mom about my name. Mm. He really was convinced that he named that name me by a time when it was not right. So I had to add a T-I which is Tibirusia. And usually when I address people I call, I call myself one Tibirusia because I usually want to be different. Mm. And why? what you're seeing in this this is uh, uh, a conviction about global leadership. And they raise hand, which has five statements on the finger. Every time I look at it, I'm reminded. So it talks about my purpose. Does it, re it represent your purpose? Yes, your purpose as an individual. Okay. Uh, in essence of what Africa really, Africa needs at this time. Mm. So what you see is, is the purpose I define it as the, uh, one being, I mean, understanding that I'm created to worship God. I'm created to serve, I'm created to belong to a family, I'm created to, to I mean, expand for a great commission, expand, expand this kingdom. kingdom, yes? Okay. Then I'm created to, uh, the other bit of it is created to, to, uh, That's funny. that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have some amazing of it. Please give that for Tiberisha once again. And uh, just to say this as we summarize, Roland, there's someone out there who says, well, that guy has all the monies, what they call it money nowadays. You have all the money, you're well positioned. Yes. What can he do to give back to the community? 
Actually, I think it's not about earning money. You know, when you get this uh, opportunity to share your talent, your gift, when serving with different people, like how, you know, I've used the paintbrush, I think it's your time you can volunteer to. You know, I mean, change your life one at a time. It's not about you being there and being work, but you can volunteer your time. Mm. If you have, uh, be, I mean, you're in business, you can give in the money. If you, I mean, like at university, of course, I mean, most of us, we spend like more hours on Facebook and doing that. But if you chill out the time on Facebook... Do you have anything uh, prime time as you can participate in directly like tomorrow? Yes, they are welcome. We have many projects running and we need volunteers. Mm -hmm. We will volunteer their time to reach out to different people and share this that maybe you've learned at prime time. Because there's so much that is really deposited that needs to be shared. Just like at uh, National Theatre is a bonfire night, which, I mean, goes on. Uh, there is... Uh, I mean, the boys who have a project running, these disabled kids need really to be, I mean, this to be, I don't know, to be talked to. I mean, even to be stayed and, you know, there's so much that you can do minus even giving the money. Mm -hmm. But your presence there makes a difference. So they are welcome. If I could say is that uh, I have a studio here in with Mitchell. the rest of the artists mm -hmm. at Mitchell. If anyone is really willing to come and volunteer, mm -hmm. is to come and register with me, then we take this message out there because that's the only way I could really say that we can do much. Yeah. Okay. Roland, yes. currently we have um, young people like me who don't have jobs. Of course I'm representing many. Is that true? For come alone. <laughs> young people who don't have jobs and we don't have capital. What can we do to get out of this whole thing of poverty? I think uh, we should really Move that notion of looking for jobs, but starting something. Mm -hmm. So, what are you saying that we can start with what we have? Like you started with painting. Yes. Now, supposing someone did accounting, you started to be someone's. Well, you can do business. There is no way you can be in accounting. It's all, 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 you know, yeah. So, you say that I use what I have. What, yeah, is, you think? what is available at the moment? And um, how has prime time been impactful to your life? One, uh, to me, is uh, the decisions that I made that were very important. Mm. It has been a very impactful that I've just been like to be in a congregation of a community of people who are you know are creative, who encourage, who I mean who, who are already standing with you to make it happen. Just like I've told you about a painting bit of it. I think prime time, prime time is a very big platform for I mean networking, I mean building, I mean friendships, really tangible friendships. I mean I'm talking about friends that really will last. Friends who are beyond high, what's yes, up, cheap yes. way. Because I, I, I explained the prime time has used to visit me and we share that cup of coffee and they pray with me. Okay. And I kept wondering who this who are these people who can really reach out to, to me that way. So that is how serious it was. Earlier on you told me that you have a plan of passing on your skills to someone. Could you throw more light on that? Yes, I've been having internship programs with many university students mm. from Okono, Kumba, even Macri University coming over and we work together and even they sign their reports. So that is one opportunity for the Ama Arts because we work as a big team. Then a bit of it is mentorship. The very people have worked to me and they say, but I'm in business, actually I used to do like painting. So somehow we're being mentored in that direction where they buy the material, I visit them, I give them a lecture one or two. Sometimes at the cost, sometimes I don't uh, charge. So, I mean, it is a kind of, you know, a bit of it is uh, the people who really want to, like, volunteer their time. Mm -hmm. Some people have come to me. Yeah, this is what is true. No matter what you're going, she's already 